What's up, YouTube? We're currently at Burlington County Jail. And yeah, I know what you're saying. These are just the steps in the front door. But that's all we have access to because our guide's late. 30 minutes late. Dad! Right now, guys, I need you to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. It helps us out. We're almost monetized, and that means we'll be able to do even more of these videos for us and you. And you. And you. <laughs> if you don't like and subscribe, I will find you. We are at the dungeon in the Burlington County Prison Museum. A lot of you all know. Right, we have we are finally ready to investigate now. We got Tara running her camera, Emily running her camera, Nick running his camera. All right, let's cheers it up. Cheers. Wait, she's gonna see. Yeah. <laughs> cheers it up. Cheers it up. Courtyard. Outside prisoners could exercise or tend a small garden of vegetables, stocks of punish. Punish? What is that? Stop. Oh, punish. Punish. <laughs> punish. 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 <laughs> punish. <laughs> what are we cooking? <laughs> punish. Wesley Warner, are you here? We have a device in here. You can use to speak to us. Is this not Wesley? Stretcher or a cot? Yeah, a cot. So take somebody. Oh, here, let's oh, right here. Okay. Smoking machines, blunts, shade, and horse. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're back. Ah, I just felt like I got like stabbed or burned. I'm not kidding. That doesn't surprise me. Ooh, that was hot. Yeah. Is there? Put my light on yeah, that, that hurt. Oh, what the heck is my light? Oh, here it is. Try to say. Yeah, you got the mark, like right here. Is that about? Oh, wow, you're really red right here. Holy sh. Really? Yeah, you're red.
really red. You're getting redder as we're talking. Right in here, look. All in here, yep. I can't see it. No, because it's more like towards your back. Hold on, hold on, let me put this down. You know what I'm Hey, Emily or Nick. Go for Emily. Yeah, uh, not to scare you guys, I'm okay, but I just got attacked. What do you mean? I felt like I was burned or stabbed in like the my hip area and Tara looked at my uh, my hip and it's all swollen like red. I watched it grow, that's the problem. Do you wanna meet in the gear room real quick? No, I mean, I'm okay. That was like the first time that's ever happened to me, but I'm just letting you know we were in the uh, workshop downstairs. I'm still here, I but it get yeah, and Tara and said she like watched it got bigger. We took pictures on my phone. And it sounds a well, that's what's weird. Does it upset you that we're recording? If you don't want to use the device that we've had, I have another one here. I died right here. Wow. Can you imagine that? That said I died right here and that. They were chained with their legs. Do you remember this chain? Well, I think the really low, constant pop is those heaters out there. But that sounded like a soap. Like big noises. Can you give us a big bang? Got another name? No, I said you got another Oh, uh, Joel Cloud, Cloudy, Wesley Warner, Joe Cloth, Doris Brunin. Are any of you guys here? Would you like to talk? Like you yelled. Yeah, there was a there was definitely like a disembodied voice obviously out there. But yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Ooh. What? It just gets that grave. Joe, is that you? You are the grave that you, you were buried on site over in the corner of the property. Is it you I'm talking to? So we're talking to... right there so it's like I don't know if it's outside noise corner noise if it's then wow Yeah, right, copy, copy. He's dangerous. Go for Ryan. Ryan, 
Ryan, were you guys just banging on something like within like a minute or two? I'm sorry, say again. Were you guys banging on something uh, yeah. within the minute? Uh, within the minute. No, we are currently out at the gallows and getting quick responses on the red pot. Dude, we heard like cell doors slamming and opening. Right, there was like doors slamming in here, dude. Like cell doors and everything. Yeah, because like we're up here talking there about like riots and everything, and it literally sounds like a whole bunch of people were like, you know, shaking and cell doors to unlock to like encourage the riots. So I don't know if Emily told you this, but our guy told us to get them riled up and talk about riots. That's crazy. Here, just close that. Just watch the stairs too. Absolutely. <laughs> Me and stairs. Me and my stairs. You'd be surprised, I grew up in the basement. <gasps> what was that? The grandpa. I don't know, that was No, my, that was a that voice. Was my, that was the walkie, walkie on my book. It sounded like it said you or two. Yeah, you. You? Yeah. Did you, yeah. Yo, did you just talk? As you were saying, be careful, because you were from the steps, it said you? I'm like Emily. a little. That was loud. I don't know what channel they're on. I don't know, that was weird. We'll have to What's that? Oh, there we go. Butt, so Did like you uh, radio Tara and, and say, say you something? Or something? No. We just had a voice come through the radio and it said you, and it, so it sounded like you. Yeah. No, I haven't done anything. We're right by the dungeon now. And my hands are full. Yeah, that's. So this is the gallows. I don't know if you guys can see it real well, but these were the gallows. All right, let me get that a little. Yeah, it's real hard to breathe right here on my chest. Look, I got an elephant on my chest. All right, is, any, is anyone out here at the gallows with us that would like to speak to us? I'm Ryan, this is Tara. This red light right here that you see, you're gonna be able to walk up to it. Get near it like that. You can make it go off. And as soon as I turned on, I said, it did the set it and it went red. If you're the one that's making it hard for me to breathe, can you touch that REM pod? And that just shows you guys that REM pods don't just go off by themselves for no reason. Um, they're actually pretty hard to set off. Yeah, they've got to be on top of that for it to go off. Like yeah, you got to get pretty close. If you were a jailer here, or maybe a prisoner, could you touch that to let us know that you're here with us? I got like a cold chill around me, but I'm going to chalk that up to being outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's here because it's... We're, I'm, we're between the building. Yeah. It's actually you, colder. I'm actually getting... My hands are getting cold. We can create like a wind tunnel though. Like a wind tunnel effect. No, it's not moving. It's like... Around. What? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So were we feeling somewhat? Yes. I'm, I'm telling you. You can like see my breath. Right, it's not, it's not a wind tunnel because it's not moving. So just to explain to you guys like what we're kind of feeling is like, yes, we're outside, but it's a, what, a 55 degree night? Yeah. Comfort and, comfort. and it was, yeah, we were standing outside for a very long time because no one answered the, the, the door to let us in. But me and Tyra have been feeling this, uh, this breeze like come around and at first I kind of chalked it up to just being outside and you're just feeling the wind. But when we felt that, then the REM pod goes off, which means 
that could have been. My night is really cold. Yeah, no, I'm freezing. I'm telling you, my hand, my fingers are cold, and my nose is freezing. It's like it's. Please communicate with us because, like, I know we're cold, and it just seems like it's surrounding me and Ryan. Look, you you've done it before. I've already seen you touch that REM pod. Can you go and do it again for us, please? It's so weird for it to go off one time. What was that? Yeah, what was that? I mean, sound is like bouncing off of the wall. Yeah, but it sounded like it was outside the wall, didn't it? No, it sounded like plasticky. Like when a body drop. Is that not crazy? That's Whoa, dude! I told you I heard the sound of what it was like if a body dropped. Holy cow. Not only the this... <laughs> What? Is that you're the one that Holy I heard, shit? I heard your body drop, didn't I? <gasps> wow. I'm telling I that the noise that I heard was like a boof. Like when the doors open and your body drops, correct? Dude, that's pinned. Yeah. You guys, if you look at that, uh, I mean, it, it stopped doing it, but when that center light is the only one going off, that means basically something has the antenna almost like in its hand like that. Dude, that was crazy. The noise I heard was a body drop, and you said no, it sounded like, and I said no, it sounded like a body dropped. And guys, the gal is right here. Like this is exactly where they hung people. Yeah, I'm actually. And that's nuts not for that thing to go off. We had what? It went off one other time, but right. for a quick second. Right, very briefly. And then to give us all the lights right there, as soon as you said that's what you think you heard, so it's saying like yes, you heard that. So could that be like just the residual sound of like yeah. bodies dropping? It would be the residual sound of when the gallows opened and the body would drop as you know, the hood. Dude, and then, and then you got like the bell going off in the background too. Right. That's like so creepy. Not, not? And to ex kind of explain like a REM pod real quick to people um, that might not know what it is or what it does really is it has a electromagnetic field around the antenna and for it to beep like it has been something has to break that field that is around the antenna and it's probably only like that big around the antenna it's not like a real wide to where like we would we can't set it off um electronics can they yes but again we are are you angry that we're not talking to you <laughs> do you want us to, you want us to pay attention <gasps> He wants, us, he wants us to pay attention. You're not talking to him. You want us to pay attention, don't you? That is you? weird. It's been going off like when we talk to... I saw... Yeah, oh, do everything. I'm telling you, he wants us to work. When you start talking about see if the I get close to, Can I get close to you? Can you let Ryan get close? Oh, yeah, he wants to get closer. <gasps> he's lonely, aren't you? Oh, look, he's lonely. Can you touch my hand? <gasps> touch Ryan's hand. Dude, I saw the antenna move. Oh my god. The antenna god. just moved, and I know it's, the wind is not strong. Look. He's lonely. I think I have that on camera, Tyre. I swear to God. I'm ignoring you. We're trying to explain to our audience how the REM pod works, and that we can't set it off just by being here, and that we don't so have anything. So, we can set it off, and that's what I want to kind of like well, right, get at, right. is I'll show you guys how we can set this thing off. Right. This, is how, this is how close you have to be to this thing. All right, so there's my hand right there I mean literally on top of it I like just heard something in the basement not really sure what I would subscribe <laughs> this is your reminder to subscribe to our channel almost monetized let's get us there subscribe hit the bell like the video now <laughs> We finally got the portal running right now. The ticking that you're hearing is a Tesla coil. So what that's doing is throwing out basically mini lightning. 
into the atmosphere and we believe that can supercharge the area and maybe kick up paranormal activity. Oh, you can feel it. Yeah, so you guys can see. Right now, we are, all four of us are down on the first floor basement, um, as we call it, in the women's wing of the prison. Uh, we just set up our portal box. I'll show you guys that. We, uh, I actually build them, and we uh, want to build them and sell them. But at, in the background, that's the portal. All right. Is there anyone here that wants to talk to us? You can use that box right there. It sounds like you kind of already figured that out. I know it's been a while since you guys probably had a conversation with anybody that is willing to sit and talk with you. You can take the chance now to talk into that box there and we can hear you. It's like you said portal. Portal? Yeah, it sounded like it, like it knew what it was. It was like portal. Um, we call that a portal, yeah. Do you like it? Who was the one that attacked Ryan down here? Are you still down here? Can you... Whoever... Stabbed me, scratched me... Can you tell me your name? Or at least tell me why you did it? Like that's how they died, so they're showing you how they died. Yeah. Is that what the spirit talker said? Yeah. It's like I remember how I died. Can can I get a name? You're not in trouble, I'm just curious. That sounded like he did it. We're not gonna tell him the bull. Again, we're not gonna tell the bull. What did you do to Ryan? Nothing. Did you hear yeah. that? Yeah. Dude, that, that was sick. That Dude. was weird. That came right there. Oh man. That pumped me up. You're lying. You're afraid I'm gonna rat you out to one of the bulls. Do you want who? What's your name? So you can stick him from behind, but you're too chicken to tell me your name. Chicken. It just said chicken. chicken. That's a long. Wait a minute. Did that say, it would sound like trying, effort, me too. Like, yeah. I know, I know this sounds crazy right now, but I want you to leave me that camera and that camera and leave me down to the And face whatever it was yeah. that got you? Yeah. Okay. I told him I wasn't scared of him when he did it and that I wasn't going to run. So maybe I'll get a better answer through the portal by myself. All right, guys, I am completely by myself where earlier I got attacked. And the reason I'm doing this is I believe that we have to face our fears, especially when it comes to the paranormal. Because if we're not as scared of the paranormal, we can understand it more. And I also want to know for my own reason of why I was attacked. Because I come in here with nothing but respect. 
but it's just me and that portal right there. Oh, I just heard something down the hallway. Did I hear you down the hallway? No. I said no. I think I did. I know you guys heard that. I said, F you. What did I do? It was a joke. I'm just trying to figure out what I did. Is it just me being here? Do you just not like people here? I told it to uh, close the lid on our suitcase and the portal just made a super weird noise and it's like off and not working anymore. Really? Asking for like one more side. Yeah, but with what? The, the, the portal's not working, it's off. Nick's gonna get me killed. Dude, that's so weird. I don't know. I don't know what happened to the portal. It's just off. guys I'm gonna turn on the ovulus it has a word database in it that spirits said that they can manipulate and it'll show up on uh, the screen as words and figure out what they want to say so in this box can you tell me why you hurt me Example? So, were you trying to make an example of me? To the lady? To Tara? So we have a new thing, where it's gonna be a solo challenge, we'll call it Going Ghost. Yes. Going, going ghost. ghost. Made by Emily. So we have four of these mini little ghosts or opsins, and one of them has an X. <laughs> As you can see, all the same shape, all the same size, all the same weight. You can't tell which one it is. We are going to put all four in a bag, all gonna draw one, and at the same time, we're gonna look, whoever has the X, go, go does the solo. Go does the solo. Go does the solo. Uh, shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it, shake it. Is that recording too? Yeah. Okay. So, who's over? So, am I going first? Yeah, you're holding you the bag. Pick, you pick one and then you Okay, pull. well she's on the bike, she can get first. Oh. Yeah, they look, yeah. Make sure it's facing upwards. Oh, just squeeze it. Do, 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 do. Got mine. Alright, uh, you're gonna have to put a little music. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Hey, you gotta be in it too. Yeah, I am so gonna be in it. I'm gonna take one and I'll take the camera. Alright. I can't right. look. I'm not looking. I have it in my, my Mine's hand. here. I couldn't even see mine because oh, oh, Brian's oh. like uh, blind well, in me. I'm just going to take that. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So what we're going to do on three and see who cries. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Ready? One, two, two three. three. No! <laughs> oh, 
I knew it, dude. I knew it. I said it was you. Yes. It's the best thing is because the obvious even said. The obvious call Did I not out. call it? I, I said, said it they the said it's going to be scared. you tonight, Emily, and it said especially Emily. All right, where are we going to put our ghosties back? Back in the bag. The best back thing the is, bag. too, is that all of us didn't even, like, flip it in our hands. We all just opened, and it was immediately the back. Like, it, there was no, like, Where oh, did she you... go? I think she ran away. No, she's she right she here. Oh, there she is. She's hiding behind me. The Wait. first solo. Uh, it was your idea. You want to play Help the Ghost and then somebody got a soul? I just don't like how the ovulus said especially. Like well, it, my spirit well, guide said it was going to be you tonight. are a fate. And they fate said. It's never wrong. What did I say? I said, Yaha said it was you tonight. And what did the ovulus say especially? They like you, man. You always get, this, you always get stuck in the solos. <laughs> the queen of solos. See you up there. The queen of got locked up so somebody could take it down. And you get a fireplace too. Yeah. And you have a window. And you have to wait to us. <laughs> She's f crying. <laughs> Well, I am up here in solitary confinement in death row. Well, I think this room is basically for solitary confinement. This is where people were locked in here, three to four men, because they didn't pay their taxes or they, they owed money and they haven't paid it back. So I'm sitting here. Reach through. No, I'm not reaching through. You are not allowed to touch me or come near me. But you can talk to me. Do you have a name? My name's Emily. What is your name? Watch this. Huh? I'm gonna make sure my sister can hear me. Are you good? My fing god. <laughs> Can you stop? It's just a Alright. So Beth. she's in she's in one of these, right here, right here. Look. <laughs> look out the window. Thanks, Ryan. Let me do that just right now. I can't wait till you guys have a solo. You're done. So my sister is doing the solo. Me, Nick, Tara are outside at the gallows. As you can see with my atomic light. Uh, I need the reset and you're, the sun is putting you blind to me. The sun, I'm sorry, sorry. sorry. But my sister is in one of the jail cells. We close the door. Uh, she's doing her solo. She was the unlucky person right. who picked the ghost. <laughs> What are you getting out here, Nick? What are you looking for? Ooh. Coldness. It's definitely like a different feeling in here. Like, kind of just having your life is just thrown away into these cells. Like, you're literally just like trapped in here with your thoughts. Like, it, I feel like it really gets to these people. Like, knowing their life was going to come to an end. Like, I don't even know if you can get in prison for debt anymore. But for Emily crying, uh, you guys have to subscribe. That's a rule. Um, a lot of you are going to ask Ryan, why didn't you feel bad that your little sister is crying? And the answer is, I don't care. Karma. There you go. Reset. It'll, it'll go, it'll go. 
This is how it did it with us. Mm-hmm. Hers like holds the Yeah, just give it a second. Straight. He'll back off. Ah, uh, yeah, you see he'll back off. It's Joe. Ryan's back. I brought Nick back. You're all excited, right? Awesome. I, we're excited too. I'm telling you, our REM pods were going nuts here. Yeah, look. Like this. Yeah. I, and it was all the lights. Yeah. And, and then they we were took all it, Then we took it to the left corner over there. Nothing. Uh -huh. Just here. Uh, are we ignoring you? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't stop speaking to us. So, from what I understand, you're the one that's buried in the corner, which I didn't know earlier. Yeah, I'm sorry. So. This is the face of a man who can't believe it. <laughs> you know, Don't be scared of the light. It's just really bright. Yeah, it's a lot brighter than it was earlier. Well, this is the big light. Yeah, <laughs> big early. sun. The sun. You, you can know, come over here the towards the REM pod. Here. Can we make it do this? Alright, how about we come over here? Because we had a good time with me, you, and Ryan, didn't we? Remember, we, I was over there. Ryan was over here. And we actually had it on the ground. So, yeah. He's moving the, the antenna. Look at the f antenna! It's moving. It did it before, yeah. Nick. It and that's like pushing it. It, it moved That's before. Absolutely bonkers, and it dude. is screwed in a You've seen it. You've seen the Thank antenna you. move. Thank you. Now we have a witness, Ryan. It we pushed the antenna it. when we were it went here. This day. way and this way. Uh huh. Yeah. Can, can you push that antenna again for me? Please, Joe. I know you liked it when me and Ryan were out here with you. Yeah, we had a good time. Move it again. Come on, push it. Come on, move that antenna for us. It's starting to move. There he is. There. Yep. There. Yep. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> dude, that's fucking mind blowing, dude. Thank you, Joe. Like, you don't know how happy That's so made cool, me. man. <laughs> I, I said you made me happy. You went purple. Look, I'm happy, Joe. I really am. Thank you so much. Yep, it happened to me and Tara. Yeah. And that's just absolutely And it would move the antenna. That antenna mm -hmm. is screwed and tight. It's Anymore of that. Okay, so and we have it on video moving. That's there's your poltergeist yes, activity. Look, look, yeah. Right. Oh, look. All right, are you gonna move the antenna again? Because I know you like that trick. Yeah, he's doing is. it. Thank you, Joe. Can you give me a different color? But what's amazing though, it's like, yeah, there's wind. Like, wind makes and, sense, but right. it's going left and right when there's opposite gusts of the of wind. wind. Yeah. I'm checking the time because I don't like being up here. Dude, I still have 20 minutes left. You guys should go outside and bother Ryan and them. Can you talk to me through this device in my hand? If you talk, I'll be able to hear you. Ryan. Yes? What are you doing right now? Nick, come up here right now. No, I'm serious. Please just get up here. I'll explain to you when you get up here. You good? No, just please come up here, please. You will not believe what I just heard. What? It was like the ovulus, but it sounded like someone was running the portal. It was like that noise where it's like And my battery just died. There's something over there, and it literally sounded like you guys brought up the portal and the ovulus, and it got mixed in. That camera caught it. I know it did, because I got scared.
That's what I heard. What that? It sounded like the portal and the obelisk were pushed in together. Listen. All right, what's up, guys? We are, as you can see, outside of the prison. Uh, sound might be a little weird because I don't have a microphone on there, but uh, we were packing up. We got to get out of here. Um, but yeah, disregard sound. Sorry about that. But. Wrapping up the prison. Nick, Tara, Emily's packing up the car right now. Quick, quick thoughts. Quick thoughts. Fun time. Good time. Good time. And some exciting news. Uh, we will be at the White Hill Expo. Uh, make sure you come out and see us. And also, the next investigation is a haunted farm in Pennsylvania where we will be the second team to ever investigate this place. Be on the lookout for that video on the 31st. Paranormal Theory, out of here.